Hi cherubs! This week for our Bible study, we are talking about a woman named Hannah. This story is called Hannah Prays for a Child. Hannah dreamed of having a baby to love and hold. She dreamed of singing lullabies to him until he fell asleep in her arms. But year after year passed and Hannah had no baby. Her friends laughed at her and called her names. Hannah cried and cried. Even though she was sad, Hannah prayed in the temple every day. She prayed, Oh God, if you give me a son, I will make sure that he spends his life serving you. Eli, the priest at the temple, watched Hannah as she prayed. Her lips moved quickly, but she didn't make a sound. He thought this was very strange. So he said to her, Stop acting so silly. Oh no, sir, Hannah said. I am not acting silly. I am praying to God because I want to have a baby. Eli looked into her eyes and said, Go in peace. God will give you what you ask. So there's Hannah crying and praying for a baby. Hannah trusted in God. Soon her tears turned into joy. God gave her a son and she named him Samuel. Hannah was so happy. She laughed and danced and kissed Samuel all over his little face. She sang lullabies and held him close as he fell asleep. Soon it was time for Hannah to keep the promise she had made to God. When Samuel was still a boy, she took him to Eli at the temple. She said, I'm the woman who was here praying to God for a baby. God gave me a son, Samuel. Now he will spend his life serving God. Samuel stayed at the temple with Eli. He grew and grew and grew, serving God every day of his life. Look at that. So at the beginning of the story, was Hannah sad? Yeah. What did she want? She wanted a baby. And what was the name of the guy who told her that God would give her a baby? Eli. When Hannah had the baby, what did she do? Did she praise God? Did she thank him and be joyful? Yeah, she was so excited to have a baby. And in order to thank God for giving her a baby, her baby then served God the rest of his life. What are the kinds of things that you pray for? Do you think that God hears you when you're sad? What about when you're happy? God always hears our prayers. So think about the things in your life that you want to pray for, and let's say a quiet prayer in our heads right now. Good job, cherubs. Now I'm going to say a prayer to close us out, okay? Dear God, thank you that we all get to spend so much time with our families. Thank you that we still get to see each other over computers and phones. I pray that we would never forget to be joyful and to remember that you are always with us. Amen.